Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to probably the last episode of today, uh, where I am fighting a doll, and they beat me in a battle, which was, in my opinion, quite sad. I mean, I did, I've never thought of the prospect of an African nation, or an African tech group, to beat me, so, this was a little bit wounding on my pride right now, um... I know it's because like they didn't have enough soldiers and there was literally like not much they could have really done to like disavoid it, but still, it's a little bit wounding in my pride. And anyways, a massive trade ship empire is done. I'm gonna group up all of them into one big m massively powerful shipbuilding fleet. And yeah, on the note of the natives, no matter what they build up, they're not gonna be strong enough to attack me, so I don't really have to worry about it. So that's not really the worry. But a real, the real war that's really coming up next, I think, is going to be the Oman, Omanian War for Chords. Because we need to destroy Oman for Chords, and having Chords would be quite nice. The only problem is, is that Oman's allied with Iraq and Persia. I've already gone to war with Iraq, so I don't think that they would be quite thrilled for me to go fight them again. And they are integrated, huzzah! So now I have this, and now I can instantly gain this core. There we go. See? This all worked out in the end. <laughs> uh, where's that army that they had? Oh, it must be gone. But let me combine all you guys, and there we go. We have a good commander right here. Ooh! Dang, the Persians have an even better commander. This guy, oh my goodness, a 6442. This guy is like. How could you even get a commander like that? I can't even get a commander like that, even with, like, you know, this much tradition. Ugh. I kind of see gypped. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna have these guys pull back because I think these guys are part of my empire now. Yeah, I think I'm also over my limit. No, I'm still under my limit. That's good. Um, but yeah, let me also at the same at the same simultaneous time. Let's also organize my trade fleets. Let's divide them twice so that they make four good units. So I want you guys to protect trade in. Yeah, like that should not be happening. Great Britain should not be controlling some of my trade right there. Constantinople, Saliba. Saliba would take a lot more than I would want to invest in. Cape of Good Hope, Crimea, Congo. Hmm. Let's go send some right there. Let's go have you guys protect trade in. Uh, let's go send one. Let's just start targeting the Seville. I guess we could just start trying to target the Seville coast. Yeah, there we go. Spread out all my trade nodes and see where the power is going. Yeah, because this is like... Safai is my home node, but it should be mine, because it's mine. The Manchurian Coast should be mine. Like, I don't know why this is not mine already. This over here, eh. I'm now controlling like 30% of the power, which is good. So that's basically my node. My node. My node. And for some reason, Portugal controls a good amount of trade power over here. I don't understand that, but they do. Uh, we're also going to send a new, a new friend over to there. While we slowly and surely finish up all this little blotchy blotch land. Okay? Okay. Good to keep you guys updated in the world. Let's go destroy this army right now. Oof. Let's hope they can actually destroy him. Yeah, thank you. Even with, even with bad morale, they destroy him. Good. So yeah, this is going to be my new army over here, and... Persia, you guys have an insanely good commander. Like, I never thought it'd be possible for you guys to get some someone that good. Okay, it seems like we just finished up with a new colony. So let's see, let's go take one of our colonialists, put him back in, go send him over here. And oh my goodness. This the massive the massive like I guess blotchy land that we've had to deal with for years of Morocco is almost all gone. We've almost finished up with all this, and then we're about to finish up with all this. And then probably, I really don't want this land. I don't even know why they have that as a province. It's so bad. 
Uh, okay, now we have a couple of ships over here that we probably have to deal with. Okay, no, no. You guys, you guys go right there. I need to target the ships right now. You guys go right in here. I need to kind of mark you guys up for uh, combining, because you can't just be all willy-nilly doing what you want. Sorry, it's, it's just kind of the rules I have. I, I know you guys are once your own empire ships. I need to kind of make sure you guys are monetized. Okay, there's nine ships just like to spend. Oh yeah, they're the they're the Constantinople fleet. All right, you guys, since you guys are over here and you guys are probably gonna be by yourself forever, I'm gonna have you guys guard the Gulf of Adrian because I know I'm not gonna be using it for a very long time. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna. I think with this war, I'm just going to completely conquer a doll just outright. I don't think I really need to be that peaceful and friendly with them, at least right now. It seems like one of the colonies just finished, so we call this guy. Ah, native ferocity! Yay! And we're going to send this guy right here. And look at that. Oh my goodness, the Blotchity land is almost all gone! It's almost all gone! Oh, it's so nice. So very nice. And from there, we're going to contemplate declaring war. Um, so we're going to have to think this too, because I don't think... As much as I would like to, I don't think we can just go into... Ooh. Let's, send, let's get all you guys. I don't think we're going to be able to go into a war with Persia half, halfly. I think this is probably going to require a good amount of... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Cordiston. Yes! Somebody freed them! Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're going to use these guys. Okay. And I, bet, I bet a lot of you guys are thinking, wait, James, why you, why you want to use these guys? Because, you want to know why? Because these guys are exactly what we need. Let's see. How much... Uh, how much is there, like, disgracing me right now? Uh... Uh... It's just distance between borders. That's all I need to get rid of. Oh, okay, okay. Because, basically, guys, these guys are the people that we could use to, like, basically break up Persia into... At least, let, let's see, let's see, let's just count this all off. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And then, yeah, at least five cores right there. Just like annexable. Oh, that's so nice. The only problem is, is that the French are over here. Huh? When did the French come over here? Also, they better not be trying to take over Lower Sid because I kind of need that. <laughs> at least at some. I know I, I was eventually. I, I know I wasn't anywhere near getting to it, but I was eventually going to go over and conquer Lower Sid. It just was taking me a long time. Okay, so Adal is basically done with. Let's see. Again, I don't think there'd be much use to. Yeah, mo I don't want the protection. Just annex. Yeah, go. It's gonna cost me a lot. I know. I know it's gonna cost me a lot of aggressive expansion, and a lot of people are gonna be angry with me for a long time. But it's better if we just do it all in one move instead of like drawing it out. So yeah, you guys group up right here. Now I actually have a decent army over here. Huh? That's good. <laughs> Probably should actually start paying attention to this because I actually have a decent army. Mamelukes are in a coalition against me. I don't really care about you guys. <laughs> you can be in a coalition all you want. It's not going to change my thoughts about the world. Or how I act in the world. Like, literally, it's going to change absolutely nothing. And apparently, I still have... I could still build a massive fleet. Do I want to, though? So I think I'm pretty much about to get upgraded. <laughs> ah, man. Man, the upgrading system, I think, for ships is kind of... Is a little bit hard to keep on top of because like you have to constantly keep updating it it's not just like one time thing but you have to constantly keep updating it all right let's create like another group of of like 75 uh 75 uh, sailors and then we're gonna group up all them again because i'm making so much money i'm making so much from like getting all this trade and stuff all right Let's just group up all these. Four. Right. Four. Four. Three. 
four. Yeah, we're just gonna have to group up all this. Four. Four. Three, four. Three, four. And we could probably finish it up down here. There we go. Yeah. There's my next group of 75, and then we're just gonna send those guys out into a different into different segments into the world, which will be so nice once they're done. Alright, but now with this this whole idea, uh, I think if we would go to War of Persia, it would probably require all of our manpower to defeat this one general. It, it sounds ludicrous, it sounds crazy, but I think it's probably going to require all of these men with our great general to defeat this one guy. No, I just realized I actually raised, it, raised another, like, good question. I actually don't have a good forward moving. Just keep losing piety. I, I don't really care about piety right now. I, I don't know what you guys keep thinking I care about it. I don't really care about piety. Oh, gosh. And right now I'm also having, like, major, 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 like, rebellions. But they won't be that hard to deal with. But, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with Oman, too, in Iraq. I mean, Persia is the main villain here, but hmm. you know, actually, with Persia, I could probably get like, you know, like a couple provinces in. Oh, Castile, what are you doing over here? Uh, Castile, you're already on my hit list. Why did you come over here? Okay, who are you allied with, by the way? Still Russia. Still allied with Russia. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me group up all you guys. Yeah, I think I, I think ultimately though, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going to fight this war. Let's see, only only taking 1.6 attrition. Considering how much our manpower is right now, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with what I have. Population gain. Woohoo! Um, yeah, let's just set up our army men for the eventual attack onto these guys. Let's go destroy these guys, and then let's go have you guys join in the fun. Congo's apparently revolting against me. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Congo's that little, those little guys that usually annoy me a lot. Yeah, go. You guys need to be the stomper of le rebels over here. I don't, I don't really want to deal with that. But okay, I think they're at war right now. No, they are not. Nagi and Oman. Uh, hopefully the Sendai people will be able to free ourselves from Castile. So I really don't like the situation that's developing down there. Okay. Persia, we've been friends for so long, I really don't... Well, now they can say it's rivals, so... Never mind, we're not friends anymore. And Koshan would be the only people that would want to join this war. Hmm. Sure. The guy's not grouped up right now, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go see... Wait, give it a second. They're going to declare war. There we go. Alright. <laughs> oh, and then all my troops are now scattered about. But still, they will still beat everyone. So, um, for sort of business, let's go mop up the uh, Iraq's army. Um, you guys go across the shore. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I have to conquer this. Wait, why can't I conquer this? Oh, they're right there. Hmm. Well, give me one second. If Oh, man, I have so much army. Okay, you guys crush rebels down here, too. Just so that I don't have to deal with it. Let's see. I'm crushing all of their forward ships. Yeah, with my one... With one galley, we will destroy everyone. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Okay, never mind. They got smart. They realized what we were doing. Okay. Let's go send these guys all the way across the cape. It should be fine because I own most of the cape, so that should be good. In terms of improving relationships with people right now, probably should be improving relationships with one of my vassals, with one of my friends. Yeah, Sweden doesn't really care about me. Great Britain, you guys are still angry at me for some... It, this usually happens. Why are you guys angry with me? Mm. Okay, you really, you really don't need to be angry with me. I, I swear, anger is not good for anyone's health. Okay, Persia's... Ah, there he is. There's that evil... There's that evil wizard. So, 
We're going to see if we can... They're, they're going to try to attack me right there. Oof. And it would have actually won if... if oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, guys, 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 quickly. Join in, join in, join in, join in, join in, join, 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 join. Stay, stay in the battle, stay in the battle, stay in the battle, stay in the battle, stay in the battle. Ah. Oh, shoot. We also joined in. Oh, we beat them by a lot. Wow. That was a complete and utter slaughter right there. Well, that's what you deserve for taking out this many of my men and having me actually have to go send in another man. So, there we go. And, yeah, that brought them down basically to absolute destruction levels. Then, I don't think they're going to come back after this. On the flip side, though, I'm getting kind of annoyed with this sea crossing thing going on right now. Yeah. Get my ships, get my soldiers across. There we go. Let's go deal with Oman. And we'll start dealing with all this other jazz. I don't really... Yeah, and I don't really care what's going to happen here. Butchistan. But they accept vassalization. Man, this distance between borders is kind of annoying. <laughs> like, seriously. If I did not have that, I'd probably be able to get away with so much right about now. Okay. We have to think of it, though. We have to think of what they're going to do. Now that I've basically destroyed almost all my friends, I'm probably... Let's see, can I peacefully... Yes, I can peace out Iraq this time, which is going to be good, because I'm just going to completely annex Iraq. Like, just completely annex it. It's going to be completely a part of my empire now, because I've I've, I've, think I've... I think I've finally had it with Iraq. I mean, they have annoyed me since day one, so... Yeah, we're finally just going to destroy the rest of Iraqians' army. Uh... Over here? Seems like we might have finished. No, we didn't finish up. We just had a battle. That's not that important. My soldier, Crimea, enter the alliance with our enemy, Iraq. Oh, trust me, they won't be Iraq here very, very soon. <laughs> okay. Over here, it seems like. It seems like our good friends, the Persians, are making sure they keep quite close to me. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. They just attacked. Oh, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We're losing so many, but I'm also losing a lot, too. Oh my goodness, wow, I won that. <laughs> oh my goodness, even with the best commander in charge, I still won a battle. Yeah, that's what I call victory right there. Okay, over here, we basically destroyed all the men, now it's time to go carpet siege, yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 there's still some Omanians over here, so let's go destroy them. Yeah, we have to make sure, we're basically keeping a three-way, a two-way front war. You guys are now healed up, go destroy this army. Uh, man. War. What is it good for, guys? Am I right? Or am I right? Okay. Mm. Uh, okay, so now this is really cut. So now we have another 34 stack. Oh. Man, you guys are just grouping. I don't know how you guys are recovering this quickly in terms of manpower. That's just cheap. Oh. Can I save him in time? I don't think I can save him. Yeah, I think they're gonna die. I think they're gonna die. Yeah. Well, I did get this province. Now I can start invading just a little bit. Mm. Yeah, Persians, you guys are gonna get crushed if you guys continue like this. Seriously. Even with your greatest guy, it seems like I'm still, like, superiorly more powerful than you. So, let's just, let's just get this over with. Go destroy these guys. Yeah, just keep destroying whatever army you see. Yeah, I just want to destroy these guys. Ah, damn. Okay. You guys. Move down. Move down. Then you guys over here... You guys go crush these guys. Uh, we call a diplomat, please. I do not need him in. I do not need improved relationships right now. Oh man, these guys are annoying me. Well, oh, you guys just you guys fell for it right there. Oh, right there. And I'm also sending in more men. So, yep. There we go. Oh dang it! You guys confused me. Mm. Dang it! All right, well, I still got them cornered. Lose infamy, lose assimilation. I'm going to kill these guys. There we go. Okay. 
How much more men do you have? Uh. Alright, well, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. This has been an exciting episode where we have many things happening, such as the fact that I am destroying, well, kind of destroying, I still have to destroy a couple Persian armies, but I think after that we're basically done with this war. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.